All right, so now we're back on site. We've got our gate. Our um, hardwood gate goes on here. This is the um, permanent gate that's going to go on that opening that we've left there. And then we've got our other movable gate that we made up um, out of the Western Red Cedar, so it was nice and light. That's going to go on um, on the, the it's the movable one that goes on each bay. So we're not going to put the gates up now. Um, before we do that, we're going to start putting the wire on. Now we're going to start with the roof. The reason we do the roof first is just for ease. If you've got to walk through underneath, it's much easier to walk through without having all the wire on each bay. So we'll start by putting the, the, uh, the roof wire on. Now the roof wire is a lighter gauge than this chicken wire. Rather than being the 40 millimetres or four centimetres or inch and, uh, what's that, inch and three quarter, inch and a half, something like that. Um, rather than that size, it's slightly bigger. It's 50 mil or two inch and it's a slightly lighter gauge wire. Um, on the roof that's handy, means we can just pull it tight and, and, it, and it looks nice. And that's plenty big enough on the roof to keep the birds out. Like I said in the workshop, the smaller wire on the side is good. It keeps the foxes out, it's a little bit tougher. And um, it also stops everything but the small birds going in through the sides. Um, so we're gonna jump up, we're gonna start doing the roof wire. And, uh, and then we'll move on to doing the, uh, the, the, uh, the vertical wire on each section. Um, so I'm going to get stuck into it. When you're doing any wire, it's always easiest to just kind of roughly tack it in position just on nails. Um, that's what I've done here at the moment. And I'm pretty happy with how it's laying now. When you get the one, one uh, run of netting meeting another, you need to join it together. Now you can do that just with a, a bit of wire and a pair of pliers. Or you can get yourself these little things that are called netting clips and they go in this special pair of pliers that have a little groove in them that, um, that hold them like that. And then you just reach around both sets of, uh, of wire and clip them together. I'll just do another one of them so you can see. So we grab both bits of wire and clip them together like that. Probably need to do them at about, uh, well, probably uh, 200 to 250 mil center, centers or, or 8 to 10 inches. And um, once you clip that together, then the piece of wire will start to act as a unit and then, it, then you're safe to nail it off. We've got the, um, the wire stapled off now on half the roof. Um, now, probably something I should just, just tell you, with this, um, with this lighter gauge wire, you can see we can get it, you can see there it's quite tight. Now what I've done, I know you'll probably be able to see with the camera, there's a joint running along there. That was that one I was clipping together before. Even though that roll of wire is about 1820 wide, I've stretched it an extra 100 mil. So I've gone to 1920 or 100 mil, four inches for those who work imperial. And that gets that wire nice and tight. Once I've clipped that joint together and made sure that joint was straight, I actually ran a string along that joint to make sure it was spot on. Once that joint's straight, you can then work backwards from that and make sure everything's nice and tight. And then you'll end up with a really nice finish like we've got here. Now when it comes to doing the sides, which I'm going to do next, you'll find that wire's a bit more rigid and you, you won't be able to get it as neat and you certainly won't be able to stretch it that much. Um, so that's what I'm going to jump down and do now. So um, I'll get into it. Right, when it comes uh, time to put the, um, the wire on the sides, the easiest way to do it is cut your wire roughly to length. Uh, probably leave yourself a couple hundred mil or eight inches spare, just so you've got a bit to play with there. Then I put a, a row of nails a couple of feet apart or, or 600 mil apart along the top and then hook the wire up onto those nails. That gets, starts to get a bit of basic shape. I've then also put a nail down the bottom here that I can hook over. So now everything's kind of starting to sit reasonably flat. The next process would be to staple the top, then staple the bottom, work from the, work from the centre in the bottom out to the sides, and then come down either end. And if you do that, you should end up with a nice flat um, section of wire when you're finished. Uh, so we're going to do that now on each section. Um, we do the sides before we do the end, uh, so you've got just mainly for access, and then um, Probably before you do the end, it's a good idea if you're going to bring in any soil or anything like that to just dump it over the end rather than have to come in through the middle. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's just a bit easier. 
Um, so then get your soil in and then we'll put the um, bit of wire on the end and that'll be one bay complete once we've done that. Um, so I'm going to staple this off and um, I'll see you soon. Okay, once the um, wire's on all the sides, then it's time to wire up the ends. Same principle, nails along the top, pull it down tight in the middle, work out to either side and staple it off. Now, you may have noticed there's some wire I've put down here, flat on the ground, that's stapled to the bottom piece of timber here and then lays out. Now that's for um, purely one reason and that's just to keep foxes out. The principle is that if a fox comes along, hits the wire and goes to dig, comes down, hits this wire, too hard, I'll go somewhere else, thank you very much. Um, so what we've done is we've just scratched that into the surface to basically just remove the grass and then we'll just put soil back over that to hold that down. Now if you want to, you can, um, if you're too lazy to dig the soil out, you can just lay it flat on the grass and let the grass grow through, but I tend not to do that because you have issues with your whippersnipper um, later on when you're trying to keep it neat around the patch. Um, one other thing, if you don't want to do the, um, if you don't want to do the wire, if you're running a bit short or you don't have the energy, I did, um, I did have an old bushy tell me once that another way to fix foxes is every day when you have your bottle of beer, you dig a trench, throw the beer bottle in, when the trench is full of beer bottles, you run around with a hammer and smash them all up. And the principle with, for that is that when, you come, when the fox comes along, starts digging, digs down, hits the broken glass, cuts its feet. Apparently um, foxes don't like the smell of their own blood, so it freaks them out. And again, too hard, we'll go elsewhere and eat someone else's chooks. Um, so that's it, that's pretty much the wire done now. I'm just gonna jump inside, we're running out of light again today. I'm just going to jump inside and we're going to do the, uh, firstly the movable gate and then the fixed gate on the end. The rest of what we've left, got left to do here is just wire, so we'll do that another time. Um, and I'll just show you those last two things and that's pretty much it.